Dr. Srikanth, Consultant Urologist at TX Hospitals. Today we are going to have a brief talk about awareness on this occasion of World Kidney Day, International World Kidney Day. This is regarding prevention. So we all know that prevention is better than cure. You must have come across lot of videos today regarding the awareness to save your kidneys and to treat chronic kidney diseases. So we are also doing a video to reach most of the patients, most of the population to create awareness. So main things to have a healthy kidneys is to follow four simple steps. First thing is control your diabetes and hypertension. So sugars, you have to keep your HbA1c which is a chronic check for your sugars of average of last three months to keep it less than seven and to control your high BP and high sugars. Okay. The second thing is diet. Coming to the diet, we have two components. The first 50% of the diet control is mainly by salt. So low salt intake, low table salt, less than 5 grams salt intake per day is the main culprit if you take it as a high content for the problems created in the kidneys. And the second half comes the rest all things like high phosphorus diet which is more in the packed foods like chips which we eat, bread, whole grains which are packed. These are all containing high phosphorus foods and the colored sodas like color sodas, Coca-Cola, thumbs up, these all things. And the other diet habits is non-veg. So non-vegetarian diet will cause more kidney problem who are prone to the kidney diseases. Okay. So low meat, red meat is more dangerous. Okay. And the last thing in the diet is to have more amount of green vegetables and moong dal is very good for kidneys. You can have as a grains and the other grains like rice and wheat are healthy to the kidneys okay and coming to the dairy low fat milk is very good whereas a high fat milk and condensed milk and milk powder which people some people use on regular basis in who are traveling in hotels milk powder using for coffees this is dangerous so this is coming to the diet third thing you know everybody know this is good water intake so at least 2.5 to 3 liters of water to keep your urine at least 1 to 1.5 liter output per day is a very good habit and which prevents your kidney for further damages. And the fourth and the most important thing is routine checkup, regular checkup. So on this occasion, taking as a world kidney day as a marker in your reminder calendar, please note that every day of this year, you need to check your kidneys, simple, simple things which are even available in villages like complete urine examination, blood urea serum creatinine and an ultrasound scan if necessary once in a year for early detection who patients are at high risk for kidney diseases like say for example if your father is having some kidney problem the son is also prone to the kidney problem then you need to check your status once in a year if you are more than 40 years of age and even if you are more than 35 years of age with diabetes or hypertension at least you need to check your kidney status once in a year. So lot of laboratories are available even in villages who conduct these tests and we at TX hospitals are providing good health packages at no profit and no loss basis. So please get your kidney status check, four simple tests, complete urine examination, blood urea, serum creatinine and ultrasound of the abdomen including your kidneys. So as I said, today is all about prevention. So coming to the cure part, say if your kidneys are damaged, say for example if you are having an acute kidney injury by some disease or a chronic kidney disease which is a continuation of acute kidney injury in some patients or because of comorbidities where your kidneys are damaged unknowingly, there are a lot of treatment options available. It doesn't mean whoever patient went to dialysis should continue dialysis for lifetime. In acute kidney injury, you can come out of the disease if the disease is treated and your kidneys can be reverted back to its normal condition. In a chronic kidney disease, if dialysis is happening, we can continue the dialysis making sure that kidneys are not further damaged. And in between patients who patients are having some point of kidney disease but they are not progressed to dialysis, we can help preventing them to progressing into the dialysis. So this is the main part where treatment comes. Okay. So these all options we are treating at TX hospitals. We are dealing with hundreds of patients and we are dealing with lot of families agony. So this day we take it as a norm to prevent your kidney damage further. And the other main culprit for the kidney damage are stones. So we, are, we have all the options available for treatment of stones including 
this lithotriptors where the stone is blasted, the lasers where the stone is powdered and we have whole less surgeries like RIRS. So I request all the audience to make use of the health packages available at TX hospitals and keep your kidneys safe. Unfortunately, if your kidneys are affected, we have all the treatment protocols and facilities available at our hospitals, both Uppal and Kachiguda branches. Thank you all. I wish you safe kidneys.